when you croon, croon a tune. When the New York Philharmonic was at Carnegie Hall, uh, they played four nights a week. In the 1960s, the Philharmonic was now in their own new home up at Lincoln Center, and some people thought uh, it's the end of Carnegie Hall. It was, in fact, a new beginning. Suddenly, there were so many people that for years had been trying to come into Carnegie Hall. There was Sviatoslav Richter and Ravi Shankar and Chuck Berry and then the Beatles and Bob Dylan. I mean, imagine this one day in 1961 where at 5.30 you had Nina Simone and Miriam Makiba. And when that concert was over, at 8 o'clock, Judy Garland. And then there was television, you know, that had been waiting to come in as well. They knew what it took to bring TV cables in and TV cables out, and it was a hassle. It took time. And suddenly now, with four days a week freed, they had the time. You know, in place of the Philharmonic, now there were the International Festival of Visiting Orchestras, where there were orchestras from London and from Paris and from Czechoslovakia and from Berlin and Vienna that suddenly wanted those dates. People were coming in to see and actually hear the diversity of different orchestras from all over the planet. Come gather around people wherever you roam. Uh, there were over 3,600 events between January of 1960 and December of 1969. That entire decade of the 1960s actually there was a variety, the richness of which, it's hard to top. I'll, I'll sing them all and we'll stay all night.